Hello guys, welcome back to another Robert Does Fishing vlog. Um, this weekend I'm up in the banks of the, the River Dee in Aberdeenshire. So I've uh, come up here for a couple of days uh, to have a shot at the shot at the salmon. Um, I was up here uh, last year in uh, September I think it was and I had um, I had some good success. Um, uh, on the one day I hooked six, six fish and uh, managed to land three of them so Hoping for a hoping for a repeat performance uh, this weekend. So, a bit we're in summer. Um, it's towards the end of July. Uh, the weather's pretty good. Uh, overcast today with about uh, fifteen or sixteen degrees. So, um, hopefully, hopefully we can pick up a fish or two. Um, so yeah, I've not posted a video in, in quite a while. Um, and to be honest, I've had a pretty shocking shocking fishing season so far. Um, I have been out uh, quite a fair bit since my last video when I was on the Annan for the trout and um, I've just not had much success. Um, I've been dropping fish, um, you know, I've been at a mixture of places as well. I've been on the river um, and I've been on uh, a couple of fisheries as well, uh, even for a shot at the rainbows to see if I can get some, some new footage for the channel. But alas, nothing uh, nothing doing. As I say, I'm having a bit of a, a, bit of a shocker, guys, but... But yeah, we're we're back, and uh, hopefully we can hopefully we can get a, a salmon or um, a, a sea trout uh, this weekend for the um, for some f decent footage for the channel. Uh, so yeah, I'm up here for two days. Um, I've not long started uh, started fishing this uh, this pool behind me, uh, so I'm just working my way down. Um, I will um, once I sit down and have a wee break for my for my coffee. I'll. Um, I'll go through. I'll go through my setup. Got a couple of rods with me, um, not with me down at the river. I've just got my my double hander. Uh, but yeah, once I have a wee break for a coffee, I'll um, I'll go through my setup, guys. So yeah, fingers crossed we can get something for the channel this weekend, and uh, um, yeah, hopefully we can we can get some decent footage. Just gonna make some short casts covering this sort of faster water before. Gradually lengthening it out a bit. There's been a few sea trout caught in the beat as well, so uh, always a chance of a sea trout. Beautiful when that sun comes out. It's giving me a wee bit of heat. Wind's northerly. Northerly wind today and I thought oh we might be in for a might be in for a cold one. But when that sun comes out it's, it's giving me a wee heat which is lovely.
see there's two big, what looks like two big boulders there. So I'm trying to let the fly swing round in behind them if there's any, if there's a chance of any fish sitting behind those, those big stones. And I forgot my sunglasses as well. So I've not been able to see through the water as good as I would. Uh, as good as I normally would be with the glasses on. Fly swings quite nicely around that bit. If I can, uh, if I get a, a good cast at it. I haven't seen any fish so far. I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, showing themselves. I don't know if you can see the in the camera guys, but the water's crystal clear. It's crystal clear here. It's such a lovely a lovely river. You could be in feels like you could be in North America somewhere. Alright guys, I'm just having a wee break there, um, just having a wee coffee, it's about halfway down this pool but I think I'm going to uh, change fly soon. So uh, I'll just talk you through my um, my setup that I'm using. Um, so I've only got a, um, my main sort of salmon rod, uh, it's a double hander, a double hander salmon rod and it's the 12 foot 9 uh, Shakespeare Oracle Scandi. Um, so this is like the first, uh, I think the first generation of Oracle rods. So it's the the one with the green, the green blank, uh, green blanks. Um, so yeah, this was recommended as a kind of good uh, be beginner rod um, by a friend of mine, uh, and apparently uh, for the, you know, for the the price, they're they're, they're really good value, and they're um, I've been told they're right up there with some of the more some of the more expensive rods. So so this is a a twelve foot nine. Uh, Shakespeare Oracle Scandi and it's a number, it's rated for a, a number eight, a number eight line. Um, so I just paired that up with the Oracle Reel as well. Um, so I think that's a, that's a salmon, the salmon fly reel in a, an eight, uh, eight, nine weight. And again, that's the first, the first generation of, uh, of Oracle Reels. Um, it's not the, it's not the second one. Um, the line that I'm using Again, this was this was recommended uh, by a friend of mine. It's the uh, the Rio Scandi short uh, multi multi tip versi tip uh, multi tip system. Um, so it's basically a it's a twenty three foot head, um, and then when you add uh, a ten foot tip onto it, it's a thirty three uh, thirty three foot length head in total. Um, and this was recommended by my pal that says they're quite um, they're quite easy to cast for beginners as well. So. Um, so, yeah, that's the uh, that's the setup. My running line because it's a shooting head. Um, the running line on the back of that, um, I used uh, the real real grip shooter. So it's basically a thick, um, a thick piece of mono monofilament line. Um, but it's got the um, you mightn't be able to see it in the in the view there, but it's got like an orange an orange part of it that that sort of acts as a as a marker, so that when you can uh, 
when you're stripping the line back in and you get to the orange bit, you know that's the sort of point to, that you can cast out and, and load the rod properly again. Um, so for the tips, um, this was the, the wallet of tips that came with the, it came with the reel kit. Um, so there's, there's four tips in there. There's a, there's a full floater. Um, there's an intermediate. There's a sink three uh, and a sink six. And um, I might be wrong, but I think the sink three means it sinks at three inches per second and the sink six is six inches per second. And um, there's a wee card on the back there that, that, that tells you. So um, I've just got the intermediate tip on uh, today. Um, we'll see how we got on with that. Um, and on the end of the tip, um, I've just got about eight feet, eight feet of 15 pound uh, Maxima, Maxima Chameleon. Um, that's my bog standard, uh, just bog standard uh, Maxima Nylon there. Um, so about eight feet. And then I was fishing a small, I was fishing a small Minx, Minx Cascade pattern. I don't know if you're able to see this. Yeah, it's a small minx cascade pattern. Um, I tied those some of those up after watching um, Davy McPhail's video um, and how to tie them. I quite like them. Um, I like the look of them. I've not caught a fishing one yet, uh, but I like the look of them because I think they would do for the. Um, they would attract their interest sea trout as well. Um, so yeah, that's my that's my setup for. I think I'll mostly be using this weekend, guys. I do have a. Another Shakespeare Oracle uh, rod with me. It's the 11 foot uh, switch rod uh, for a seven and eight weight. Um, I use that same reel. I've just got a spare spool for it um, that I loaded up with a, um, a Max Catch switch line. Um, so I've not had a, a proper go at it yet. So uh, there might be a time this weekend where it calls for it. Fly box. Um, I bought one of these loop uh, loop fly boxes that are I think are excellent um, because I've got all my my sort of dressed flies in there in that section there so I've got sort of weird ones at the top there and, and ones much longer ones with longer tails down the bottom I've just got a mix of everything in there like cascades and um, uh, stoats tails alley shrimps blue charms um, uh, and a few flamethrower patterns a few sort of really sparsely dressed ones as well for sort of low water like that wee sort of shrimp pattern there is quite sparsely dressed so um, I've got a few, just try and keep a mix of everything so that I'm sort of prepared for whatever situation I'm um, I'm dealing with when I show up at the river. But the, the section there is really good for tube flies as well. And then the wee section here where you can keep your tube fly hooks. Uh, so in here I've got a mixture of wee tiny hitch flies in the bottom there, um, some wee mini tubes, uh, plastic tubes up the top there, some copper tubes, some sunray shadows, some conehead francis. Um, I, I try to keep... I try to keep a, a mixture of everything so um, once I get down to the sort of slower slower tail end of that pool um, I think I'm going to stick on uh, something where I'll uh, put a bit of movement into the fly like a sunray shadow a strip a strip sunray shadow so um, there's an example of one of the ones that I'll probably use so just no, no eyes or flash or anything on it just like you know, just a standard sunray shadow, but with, with yellow, yellow bucktail in the bottom rather than white. And the only reason I have that is I don't have white bucktail at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'll fish that and, and put a bit of movement into it and see if that can that can entice something. So, so yeah, guys, that's my that's my um, my sort of go to go to salmon setup. Um, the twelve foot nine rod does me for the. Uh, it does me for the, the, the various types of river um, that I fish, you know, including up here at the D, down in the river air, or it's maybe a wee bit big for the uh, for the Irvine. I would maybe use my switch rod for the Irvine, but um, it does me, you know. I, I'm not out spring fishing or anything like that, like with a big, you know, 15 hander, uh, sorry, 15 foot, 15 foot rod or anything like that. This, this length of rod does me for the, um, for the, the places that I fish. It's a good a good all rounder for me. Um so yeah guys that's my setup. Um if you've got any questions about any of that, um or if you've got any um any tips, just um yeah leave them in the leave them in the comments section there. Um let me know what works for, for you guys as well. So yeah, I'm gonna finish my coffee and then we'll uh we'll work our way down the, the rest of this pool with the with the sunray and see if we can 
See if we can tempt anything out. All right. Right, I'm going to say, have a go with the Sunray Shadow now. So, just stuck on that black and yellow one. Single barbless hook. Um, we'll try stripping it and uh, see if that see if that can uh, anger anything into into having a go at it. I'm gonna try and cast as far over to that other side as a um, as I can, so that I've got maximum amount of line to strip back. All right, guys. I've moved down a pool now. I'll give this uh, give this pool a shot. We'll start again. We'll start up in the fast water here and try and work our way down a bit before lunch. Um, I've changed fly. I've got a got a wee uh, a wee tube fly on with like a, a bright orange tungsten cone. Single barbel hook with just quite a bit of sparse sparse blue yellow, a wee bit of silver in it, a uh, tiny bit of black as well. So. Um, We'll see how we go on with that. Just need to be careful here, this pool's really bouldery, so if I'm working my way down here I need to watch watch my step. See, dearie me. I end up going for a swim today.
just try to entice a bit of movement into the fly there as well, just by kind of twitching the rod back and forth. Just by doing that with the line as well. Now this looks a bit hairy, so I'm going to move back in a wee bit and try and get my foot in before making the next cast. Oh my god, man, monster salmon just jumped over there. Big fish. Maybe the camera caught that out the corner. Right, that's us. Had our lunch. Uh, Moved on to a, a new pool, um, so this one's quite a long pool, so uh, I've been told that the fish lie in that, I don't know if you can see, like the kind of darker, darker water, there's a channel over on the other side there, so uh, this is quite a, a safe wade, I think, out as well, into the middle, so um, Hi, quite gravelly bottom, so I'm going to cast over to that darker water and let it swing round and maybe put some movement into the fly as well, some wee twitches like I was doing before. I've still got the same fly on just now. Um, might change it up um, if there's no interest in this one, but yeah, I'll be fishing that darker. don't know if you can see that in the kind of, the, kind of darker, the deeper channel of uh, water all the way down there. So. so yeah, and then there's another pool further up just behind me here that I'll uh, probably work my way uh, work my way up to once I finish this pool. I'll go up there and give it a go. But this should take me. This should take me a while. Quite tempted to give this a wee swim. This is a wee Ian Bain, Ian Bain special fly. Um, so I'll put that on and uh, have a go with that. wee size, I think it might be a 10 or a 12 double. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I'm just going to debarb or crush the barbs in the hook. There we go. 
Right, let's give this, give this a swim. Oh, that was a pool. It might have been a pool there. Alright guys, change of pool again, just moved up to that other pool. This looks like quite a quite a significant significant depth. Alright, that will do us for today I think folks. Uh, I don't know if there's plans to go out after dinner or not, we'll see. But, um, seen a few fish today which has been encouraging, but just none, none to the net or to the bank unfortunately, that's the way it goes. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll head back and then we'll uh, get some dinner and see what's happening. We may or may not pop back out, but yeah, hopefully tomorrow, tomorrow brings better results. So yes, we'll be back tomorrow, and fingers crossed, we'll we'll fare a bit better. All right, guys, day two on the River D. Uh, back out this morning, giving some some new pools a go. Uh, the weather's to be. The weather's to be quite sunny today actually, um, which isn't ideal but we'll, um, we'll persist nonetheless. So I'm going to, going to start at the top of this pool and just work my way down to, to those sort of rocks, that big tree down there. Um, same setup as yesterday, I'm just going to be trying different flies, so just get this wee blue, blue, black and yellow. 
blue, black and yellow tube fly. Uh, so we'll run through this, run through the fast water with this and see if we can pick anything up. short line in this fast water and then gradually increase it. with the sunray shadow now. Alright guys, change of pool again, change of fly, I'll, uh, it's a fly I've not tried yet, I'll try a wee, a wee silver stoats tail double, um, hopefully yeah, that can pick something up, but, uh, if there's any sea trout as well, um, and that's a fly that could potentially take some sea trout.
All right, folks, last, last chance saloon, as they say. Uh, back to where I was this morning. Uh, I'm just going to fish for the last hour, maybe hour and a half. So, I'm just going to spend a bit of time in this fast water stripping a sunray shadow through the pool. I didn't catch it in camera earlier, but there was a couple of fish came up and and uh, nipped at the sunray earlier this morning. So yeah, I'm just going to I'm just going to concentrate doing that for the rest for the rest of the evening, just try to stir a fish up with the sunray shadow. Very quiet all day. But no matter what, it's been such a nice weekend just getting to be back up here and in summertime and just getting to spend some time on, on the river. It's been absolutely fantastic. Oh well, not the results we were hoping for guys, but an enjoyable trip nonetheless, I think I'll call it a day there. I've got to sit and have a beer, but uh, I think we're coming back in September, so uh, hopefully we can get we can get a fish or two then, but yeah, sorry I couldn't get some more exciting footage for the channel, guys, but alas, that's, uh, that's fishing, I suppose. 